Hi everybody, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week what I thought I'd do is give you a little look behind the scenes on how I do a couple of things. Uh, I've had a lot of questions lately on how do I get my iOS devices onto my Mac so that I can record them. And so there's a lot of people that want to be able to record uh, what they're doing on their iOS device. And so what I thought I'd do this week is just show you how I do that and just quickly walk you through the steps so that you can start doing that yourself. So uh, one of the primary apps that I use is called Reflector. Now, uh, what I like about Reflector is not only that it mirrors your iOS device onto your screen for your Mac so that you can capture it. And uh, what I do to capture those things is I use uh, an application called ScreenFlow. And I'll probably do a tutorial on that as well for those of you that are interested in making screencasts. Uh, but if you look at uh, Reflector, what it does is it actually uh, not only uh, puts your iOS uh, screen on your computer, but if you look down here, it also adds the bezel uh, around the iOS device. And that's how I make that work uh, when I'm doing my screencasts. I've got the bezel on there uh, because this application uh, allows you to set that up and make it work. Uh, Reflector is a pretty great app. I mean, uh, it's only uh, $12.99, which is pretty good for what it does. And like I said, it will mirror, as you can see here in the illustration, everything that you do on your uh, computer. So what I'm going to do is let me just show you how to set it up and how to get it going uh, so that you can get, get that started. So let me just pop this down here for a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch Reflector. So I'm just going to do that here and type it in and launch it. And so now Reflector's been launched, and you can't see anything on here because it doesn't really start anything till the mirroring happens. And so we've got to get the device on there. Uh, if you look at my top bar here, you can see it says Reflector so that I know it's working and running. Uh, so what I need to do is go over to my iOS device. Now this is the part that you can't see, but I'll show you once we get it rolling. Okay, and you can see that now my uh, iPhone has just come up on the screen. You see it's kind of stretched out. Uh, the nice thing is I can grab it and I can shrink it to whatever size I want to shrink it. I want to center it on the screen. Uh, what I did to make this work was, uh, let me just come out of this for a minute. You double click the home button and you scroll to the left until you see this little uh, icon, the AirPlay icon. And when you click that, this little pop-up comes up. And what you do is you change the AirPlay from your iPhone to the server or whatever computer you're trying to mirror to and then you slide the uh, slider over to mirroring on and then that's when it'll show up on your screen and so everything I do now just click the home button uh, that I do on here is mirrored and so I can you know scroll across I can launch applications I could play games uh, if you're doing a presentation in front of people you could mirror it this way onto a Mac and have it displayed on the screen and show everybody what you're doing uh, if you're trying to show them how to use iOS things it really works nice uh, for doing that uh, so let's take a look at some of the preferences if you just come up to the reflector area at the top you know you've got a preference pane that comes up and on this one you can optimize it for uh, either any device or for whatever you're looking at. You can do high res for an iPad depending on what you're recording for. Uh, I found the any device works pretty well but if you want higher resolution you can do that uh, as well just by kinda uh, changing the, the setting here. Uh, you can also change the AirPlay name if you don't want to. You saw on my iPhone I had server because that's my Mac's name so you use the uh, you can use that or you can put in your own. Uh, you can also have a password if you want to put in a password before you mirror, uh, just for protection. Uh, you can launch full screen, and you can also do different backgrounds. Uh, you can do a solid color uh, background or a desktop background. And so I just use the desktop background, uh, but if you wanted to, you could pick a color and it would change the background behind uh, your iOS device uh, to that as well. And then it also gives you your frames per second count on there. So pretty simple uh, settings. Uh, one more thing you can do, if you come up here to the device uh, menu, is you can change uh, the, the frame skin. So if I wanted it to be white, uh, I could change it to a white iPhone if I wanted to do that. Uh, or I can just come right back to black. Uh, so it allows me to kind of change the bezel if I want to. And again, that's why I like this one is because you can show the frame uh, around it. Uh, or you can take off the frame if you want to and only show the screen. And other ones like Air Server, this is what it does. It just shows the screen itself. It doesn't show the bezel. Uh, I have both of them. They both do different things well. Uh, but I prefer uh, Reflector because I can uh, show the frame and uh, so that you can see what type of iOS device it is. It just looks nicer to me uh, and is a little less uh, distracting uh, to make that work. 
Uh, I can scale or stretch to fit or do actual size or half size. Uh, I can force uh, different orientations. Uh, there's the landscape forced so that I can make it sideways. If I actually, um, you know, I'm launching something and working with it, uh, I can, uh, you know, make that change anyway. Uh, but, uh, but anyways, I can force the landscape or not if I want my device to be sideways, especially if you're doing a game or something. Or you can force portrait and put it back. Or you can just have automatic orientation uh, so that it kind of knows that when you turn something, it'll automatically turn uh, on its own. And so that, uh, so that you can work it that way. So it really is a, a, a pretty nice application. Uh, let, me just, uh, let me just show you one more thing here related to the orientation of the device. So for instance, it'll do it automatically. If I just go into, uh, let's say, mail for a second, and uh, I turn the orientation, and you can see it automatically. Uh, as I turn the device, it'll change the orientation. So this really is a, uh, a really nice application. Uh, it allows you to do some professional screencasts, and it's very simple and easy to use. Uh, just to turn it off, all you got to do is, again, come back here, slide over to the side, click this, and as soon as you click uh, mirroring off, it disappears and you're back to normal. So anyway, so that gives you a little bit of an idea of how I do these screencasts for these iOS devices. And so hopefully you'll uh, check out Reflector and give it a try. I, I think it's a really great application. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.